Hello everyone. My name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel RP Techno Hub. Today we are going to learn about nested while loop using UI path. What is nested while? A while loop inside a while loop is called as nested while. So we'll build the following patterns using nested while. So if you see here, we got five different rows and five different columns wherein the stars are printed. In the second example, we got spaces included before the stars. So in the first row, we got four spaces. And in the second row, we got three spaces. In the third row, we got two spaces. And in the fourth row, we got just one space. And in the fifth row, we do not have any spaces included. So now let us just see how we can print these patterns using UA path. Let's get started. So here, I will just drag and drop a sequence container activity. And I will name it as main sequence now that we know that we need to print stars in five different rows let me just create a variable called row counter and change the variable type to in 32 and i will set the default value as one because row should be started from one and how many columns are required to be there there are five different columns are required to be there so it is in 32 and i will that column will also start from one right so i'm just setting the default value as one and how many number of stars are required to be printed i'm just creating one variable for that maximum count and that is also in 32 variable type and five and we need to make a star pattern shape right so let me take a shape variable of type string and it doesn't have any value so we need to make it so at the end we are going to print the patterns in shape variable so we we're gonna make that shape and then we're gonna print that out on console output console or on message box let us just see so here we got the required variables created so let me just drag and drop while activity while and so the rows should be starting from one so row counter is less than or equal to maximum count so we need five rows to be iterated through and in five rows we're gonna print the stars so we need to print only one star in the first row so for that let me just have another while so to be able to distinguish these two whiles let me just name the first while as row row incrementer while and the internal while as column incrementer while it's a column incrementer while right and let me just integrate the internal while with the external while as so in the first row we need to print only one star so for that so let me just use column counter less than or equal to row counter so in the first iteration of external while row counter will be one and one time the internal while will have an iteration so only one iteration it will have in the second iteration of the row counter that means in the external while so it will have two white two iterations so that way it will be integrated with the external while so now we need to make the shape right so let me just use assign so one star is required to be printed in the first row if you see here in the first row one star is required to be printed so now that we have integrated uh, the internal while with the external while so we'll be able to print or uh, make the shape of star so let me just use shape here shape is equal to shape so by default it doesn't have anything now 
in the first iteration of internal while it will have one star appended to the shape because one is less than or equal to one and the column counter should be incremented so that it will come out of this internal while so for that i will have another assign and i will say it as i'll name it as uh, i will build the expression column counter is equal to column counter plus one so here i will say shape assign and call counter increment comma assign okay now after the internal while the column counter is required to be reset back to one because in the next iteration of row counter that means external loop it requires to print two stars right that means it it requires to be starting from one so that's the reason we need to reset it back to one and also the row in counter should be incremented if you see here the we have printed one in the first iteration and in the second iteration it should we should make a shape that it should add a new line to the shape so we need to add a new line to the shape and we need to reset the column counter to one and we need to increment the row counter so we need to do three different operations for that reason let me just use multiple assign and what do we need to do we need to set the column counter value back to one and we need to add a new line to the shape shape plus vb new line or vb crlf vb new line and we need to increment the row row counter plus one now with this we will have the shape formed so after all the iterations got completed so we'll have this shape we'll have this star pattern shape so let me just name it as call counter set row counter incrementer comma shape new line okay yeah so i just uh, named it so after the external while gets completed we will have that shape created so we will have that shape created after the after the external whiles external while gets completed so what can i do here so i will just use box to print that shape just use use shape yes so let me just run this in uh, debug mode so here we got the star shapes as expected right one star in the first row two stars in the second row three stars in the third row and five stars in the fifth row right so now let us implement the second one so wherein we need to add spaces also before printing stars we need to add spaces to make this particular pattern shape right so let me just tweak this code so inside the row incrementer while i need to add one more while just to add spaces if you see here in the first row we need to add four spaces in the second row we need to add three spaces and the spaces are decrementing right so the spaces are decreasing so let me just uh, so first row should have four spaces that means maximum count minus one in the second row maximum count minus 2 that means maximum count minus row count maximum count minus row counter maximum count 
minus row counter so that way we can decrement or uh, decrease the number of spaces that are required to be appended to the shape so let's add a variable called space counter and i will set it as one so inside so before column incrementer so let me just add another while so while and here space counter should be less than or equal to it should be four right in the beginning so max mum counter control space maximum count minus initially the row counter will be one so it will have four in the second iteration of row counter that means when the row counter value is two the maximum count minus row counter that is maximum counter minus two will be three three spaces will be printed so our logic looks good here right so now let me just add assign here to make the shape shape is equal to shape plus so here it is space incremental right so we need to add a space and after that the space counter is required to be incremented so let me just add a space counter is equal to space counter plus one so it will have the exit condition from this while so let me just name this as space counter incrementer loop incrementer while and uh, here shape assign space counter assign and after the first iteration of row counter that means four spaces will be appended and the space counter is required to be set back to one so that in the next iteration of uh, external row counter that is external while it will have just three spaces appended that means in the second uh, row of the pattern so for that reason let me just add one more row here to set back the space counter to one space counter is equal to one so let me just save it and uh, so we are looking good here yep so let me just run this in debug mode that is f5 and let's see here you see you got we got the pattern as expected so in the first row four spaces in the second row three spaces in the third row two spaces in the fourth row one space and in the fifth row without any spaces we got the pattern printed so i hope you have understood this logic please practice this and uh, please practice the other shapes also so that you will improve your logical thinking ability so if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and do not forget to share it with your friends thank you